first, you'll determine three to five alternate properties that are actually feasible. They don't need to be uh, comparable to your existing space, and the selection group is typically not about price, but each one should offer some advantages over the existing space that would make a relocation into them attractive, especially if the pricing were favorable. Now, we're going to create a request for proposal or RFP for each prospective landlord. If you have one in your lease file, you might start with it as a guideline. If not, start by taking out your existing lease document and summarize the key points into a two to four page outline of the most important items. Consider the description of the premises, the term, rental rate, uh, included operating expenses and utilities, concession, uh, improvement and design allowances, flexibility and renewal rights, maybe termination agreement, parking, uh, HVAC and after hours use, signage, security, exclusivity, and of course, add any special items particular to your business. If you would be taking the space in shell condition, specify the minimum finish conditions before your construction responsibilities kick in. Be specific. Don't assume that the landlord will do any work at all to the space unless you define it in writing. Finally, run it by your legal counsel. Why now? This may be your one opportunity to negotiate the terms without the landlord's legal counsel weighing in. And while a proposal is typically not binding, uh, if you accept and sign it, it's generally considered to be bad faith to renegotiate the terms otherwise agreed upon. It doesn't guarantee that you will get them accepted, but it will never be easier in the negotiation process to get concessions now before you're in deep. Send the RFP to the agents of your top three to five properties and give them a deadline of about a week to respond. 